Hi friends, this is Anita Kejriwal here. I am an amazing paper grease design team member. And today I'll show you how to create this beautiful floral box with roses made from the candlewick rosebud dye from amazing paper grease spellbinders. This is really very easy to make and you'll be amazed to see how beautiful this whole box looks with this whole arrangement. So let us begin. For this you will be needing this candlewick rosebud dye from amazing paper grease designed by Becca Fecon. And this is the die cut I am going to use. I have cut with a floral flower shaping paper and I have created a solution with water and distress ink re-inker picked raspberry. This is a very easy way to color the petals and you will be amazed to see how beautiful and realistic they look. So I am just spraying some water on my flower shaping paper that die cuts that I have cut and then do not worry if the ink puddles at some places and it gives a faded look. You can dab the extra color and if you want more color you can spray once more. So I think I'll be spraying it once more to get really nice effect of color on my rose petals. So here the petals are all done and I'm just wiping off the extra uh, colored water with my tissue paper. On the foam pad place one of the rose petals and then with the groove golf tool this is the groove golf tool I have had in my hand and just turn the petals backwards and start shaping the petals are still wet and so they will be shaped very well do not worry they will not get torn and all you have to do is to apply a little pressure and the grooves will make lines on each petal giving them a very nice realistic look so continue doing like this for all the uh, die cuts that you have out here for one flower you will be needing about five to six die cuts so here I'm just doing like this for all the petals and have already created the rows uh, earlier but here I'm going to show you how to make one full flower one tip I would like to give is that when the flowers are semi wet then only you start shaping them so I'll take these five die cuts and then Using a pair of scissors, I'm just going to snip between the petals like this right up to the hole. Be careful that you do not cut through the hole. This makes the petals to be brought up right up to the top when you are making and shaping the buds or the roses. This is a very important part and it should not be missed. So here I'm just snipping off between the petals right up to the hole with this pair of sharp scissors. Again I tell you this is a very important step and you will realize this once you start molding and shaping the flowers. So if you need extra flowers you have to create more die cuts like this. So I have 5 of them ready here. They are still semi wet and now with a pair of tweezers I am just going to turn the petals like this backwards. Pinch between the fingers and shape all the petals like this give look making them look like real rose petals this is a very easy step and the flowers are really looking very nice because they are still little wet and it becomes very easy to mold and shape them so i'll do this for the only three of the petals and two of the petals i am just going to leave it like that i will not do anything to them so in total you require 5 for one big rose, 2 of them you will be adding lines from the back and to 3 petals you will shape like I am doing it right here. So here it is you see how the petals are getting shaped and molded. It becomes very easy with the help of a tweezer. Don't you think this is a very nice way of making the rose where you get realistic roses in no time. And the candlewick rosebuds dye is just a perfect versatile dye where you can create realistic roses. Now I am going to cut off the petals like this for at least two of these die cuts. That is separate the petals like this. You might require all of them or just six or seven of them. I am using Art Designer's Glitter Glue. This is my favorite glue when it comes to flower making. 
and I'll be using a styrofoam bud here. This styrofoam bud will help me give a nice shape to the rose. So place the styrofoam bud right in the center of the hole and apply glue on all the four petals like this. Put in the styrofoam bud and then wrap the one of the petals right like this covering the whole bud and then securing it between the fingers. Make a nice pointed triangle like this like a cone so that not a single part of the styrofoam bud is to be seen. Then get the second petal right up on the top. Now you understand that since we had snapped, uh, sorry, since we had snipped the petals in between, they can come right up to the top. Bring in all the petals like this, holding and securing with your finger and pressing as you go. And this is a very nice little rosebud. So this is one step where you can create rosebuds with a single die cut if you want. You can create lot of rosebuds like this and with the help of the tweezer just turn in the petal outwards as you go giving the rose a very realistic look. So I am just turning the petals out wherever it is needed and applying glue where I find it is little the petals are little loose. So this is one core I have created now I'll take the second uh, die cut where I had not shaped the petals and I'll again put it like this and then bring all the petals together again like I had done in the first one. So just get in the petals like this one by one. Taking care that if the left side of the petal is outside then all the lefts of the petal should remain outside. So if the left side is outside then all the lefts should be outside and this will give a very nice shape to the rose. In a way, all the petals should be concentric. Now with the help of the tweezer, just go on shaping and giving nice look to the petals, turning them out, pressing as you go. This is another rose part that is in the making. Now you take the petals that we had pinched and curled outwards. Take one of them and then bring the petals up like this as we had done for the previous ones. You see our rose is already taking shape and this looks really very nice. Pinch it between your palms like this. Turn the petals outwards as you go giving it a nice realistic look. You can stop here if you want a medium sized rose. But we will make, be making a full flower. So now what I am doing is with the help of the glue gun I am going to add these petals at the back of the flower. So here I am just adding these petals like this which will give us a full bloom rose as we, uh, as we make a bigger flower. See how lovely this is looking. This is actually looking like a real rose and you can use any distress reinker to make any colored rose. I have tried a lemon yellow colored rose with a white and it looks really very beautiful. The shaded look of the rose is so pretty. I am really in love with this flower. And this is really easy to make. The coloring makes it so easy that you don't feel daunted when it comes to flower making. So I think you will be needing 6 to 7 of the petals depending upon how close or apart you put your petals. So go on seeing whether you need an extra petal or not and go on adding the petals like this. So I think my flower is on done. I've already made three or four roses and now I'll be showing you how to make some rosebuds. For the rosebuds you require two of the die cuts. Again I'm adding some hot glue over my styrofoam bud and I'll be just bringing the petals together like this snipping in between. To create my rosebuds I'll just get the glue on the petals and then bring them all together up like this. Remember the styrofoam bud should not be seen. So press the petals very well one after the other. You can even use the wet adhesive if you want but I wanted to do this really fast so I thought of using the hot glue. See how lovely the rosebud looks and it is so easy and so quick to make. 
bring in the second layer now this is first layer if you want to make small rose buds then you have to stop it here only just cup it with a ball tool put some glue in the center and bring the petals together like this this is another way of shaping the roses go on twisting and turning the petals out or applying glue wherever it is required this is again a small rose bud you can add more petals to make it a full flower so i'll continue doing like this for the other rose buds and i like to create lot of rose buds and flowers when i'm making a card or a box or any project because you may might not know how many flowers you will be needing when you are arranging so it is always wise to make at least two or four of the flowers or the buds and the leaves a little extra so that you don't go short of it when you are finally arranging see how beautiful it is so let us complete the flowers and now i will be just adding some floral tape at the back Now I am not adding any sepal or calyx because these these will be used as a flat arrangement and they will not be seen. So if you want to do flat arrangement, no need of adding calyx or sepals. Now I'll be adding some color to my leaves. I am using the leaf grief archival ink to color, and this is a way I color my leaves. It gives a very nice subtle color to all the leaves, really natural. And this leaf green color is one of my favorite. See how beautiful the natural the look look the leaves look. You can use distress inks or any other inks that you have. Now I'll be adding some pink tone to it because rose leaves have some pinkish hue or tone on them. So on the pink peony archival ink, I'm just placing the leaves and just adding some hue of pink on the leaves. Don't you think they look really so pretty? And now it is the time to shape and mold the leaves. For this I am just taking my groove golf tool adding some pressure at the back of the leaves and from the front I am just doing like this so that the leaves looks shaped you need not apply pressure on the front on all the leaves just one or two of them so now my flowers and leaves are ready and my box is also ready i have added some decoupage paper here and this is the brilliant rondel die cut from the spell binders by amazing paper grease and now i'm just putting on the music so that you sit and enjoy the final arrangement mm -hmm. 